Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a three color stencil. Obviously, you are not going to use a, an image of a famous rock star. You are, in fact, going to use a photograph that you have taken yourself because otherwise there are copyright implications. But for the benefit of this stencil that I'm going to show you how to make, I'm just using this image of Jimi Hendrix because uh, it is easy to access for me and I don't have any photos to use that are relevant for you. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is duplicate the layers. So duplicate just by pressing on this little button here to make a new layer. You're then going to go into image adjustments levels just to maybe, I mean this is a really contrasty image but yours might not be very contrasty so you might need to add the contrast in to help it be a bit more contrasty as it happens this is a really nice contrasty image anyway because it's obviously taken by a professional photographer okay so change that we are then going to go to in fact let's make another layer duplicate that layer again so now we have all our layers ready to go the first one we're going to do is this one the bottom one of the two we've just made we're going to go to image adjustments threshold like this and then, oops, what I need to do is just hide that, cancel, hide the top layer, go to image adjustments, threshold like this. We want to make the first one that we do quite um, full of colour because that is going to be the one that, um, that is going to be the one that you use kind of as your bottom um, layer so we don't want it to be too light so something like even like that would be fine so whacking up the threshold on that one click OK we're then going to delete the white to do that we are going to go to select we're going to select color range we're going to click um, choose the white anywhere make sure this fuzziness slider is up here and also make sure that this is not um, that the select that we've got image selection not um, selection on that we've got it says image here so click on the white click OK and all the white has now been selected so what we're going to do is delete that to get rid of that and if you deselect or click on that and click on the background you'll see that we can see through a little bit to underneath so that's our first layer of our stencil and what we're going to do is we're going to change the colour of that now before we go so then we can compare it to the top layer so you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, click on Colorize like so. You're then going to slide the lightness slider up. You're going to maybe add a little bit more saturation. And then you're going to choose a colour that you like the look of. I think I might go with this sort of colour, which is quite nice. So that's what we're going to go with that. Obviously the lightness would change the hue, but you want this level to be quite light. So that is now your first layer of your stencil. Uh, and the, the white colour that you've got would be your actual um, paper. Um, so now we're going to show the next one. We're going to go to Image Adjustments, Threshold again. And this time we want something much lighter. So that would be quite a light touch there. Might want to add in a little bit more detail. Don't know, it depends what we want. Cancel, let's have another look back at there. That's quite detailed, isn't it? So we can just go really quite light. So image adjustments, threshold. Maybe something like that would be okay. So I click on okay. I go to select colour range, click on the white, make sure that's on 200, make sure that says image, click OK and then delete. And then deselect, by select, deselect, Apple D, as you can see is the shortcut, or I often just have it selected on that and then I can deselect. And then the final thing is to make a new layer and then we're going to put this underneath the both of them and fill it with white or fill it with a different colour and then you can see we have our two color, three color stencil. And the reason it's a three color stencil is because we count the color of the paper. So if we didn't have white, we could have any different color that we wanted. So for example, say I wanted to have sort of like a really light, pale, bluey background. I could fill the back, 
background with that. And we've got ourselves a nice piece of artwork. So that concludes the tutorial for um, how to make a three colour stencil. And obviously you would then print out your stencil one layer at a time and then go and spray paint it. Um, but this is actually still quite a nice effect here anyway.